I'm Aidan Mitchell, Vice President of Engineering Services at Arrow Electronics. As we look into 2021, the significant mega trends that we've seen in technology continue, but with a couple of wrinkles and a couple of adaptations. AI capabilities from edge devices to cloud-based modeling continues to accelerate. We've seen vision-based AI proliferate already, but we're now also seeing autonomous machines, robotics, and of course, the use of AI in healthcare for diagnostics and other things really take hold. Wireless connectedness continues to proliferate. And of course, this spans low power locally area networks, but also 5G is real and is now being designed for high-speed embedded applications. And when we look at this hyper-connectedness, of course, the intensification for security and IoT security remains really important. And electrification, all the way from our EV cars to now what's happening in industry for motors, drives, pumps, and compressors, is really driving wide band gap technologies and silicon carbide. But also, when we take a look, especially this year with all of our home consumption, low power consumer devices, power efficiency remains really important. And as we look at compute technologies and the rise of seven nanometer based solutions, power efficiency in embedded designs remain at the forefront. On the segment front, you know, there are also several trends. In a year like no other, the connected home is now the center for our life, where we work, where we seek entertainment, and of course, the design and consumption of home connected devices for our life has really evolved. And digital alliances are forming between equipment and content delivery like never before. In digital health, we've really noted the importance both for patient monitoring and management, how you affect relief to the medical community and the infrastructure which has been burdened in 2020 with COVID. And now we see this importance of AI and ML to infiltrate healthcare so that we can get to medicines and vaccines faster, and that we're really understanding image technology that's identifying diseases like never before. And as we look at an age of automation, and more importantly, autonomous machines, we recognize the importance of power. Electrification and battery efficiency is the key to work. Of course, this is evident in the vehicles that we drive and want to drive, but it's now really becoming important in the energy and industry factory sector as well. Arrow and analog devices have collaborated to address the megatrends by leveraging four key collaboration points. Firstly, we're doing a get to market and go to market initiative. Get to market where we design and develop platforms and then go to market, how we reach customers and teach and train for the differentiation. We're affecting joint reference platforms for vertical segments where we're building out the hardware, but layering on top IP and software frameworks to allow developers to accelerate the design. And then we're augmenting those platforms with professional engineering services. So we have the ability to work with customers to design, develop, and build those solutions so that they get to market on time. But around this, we're also forging new technology alliances with leaders in artificial intelligence, such as NVIDIA, and in cloud and edge compute and security, such as Microsoft. Together, we're driving this effort with, of course, the usual competencies around supply chain excellence so that those designs we affect get to market on time in a period where there is increasingly high demand. When we 
we take a look at digital health solutions, I think we've become very sensitive to the importance of healthcare in the COVID year of 2020. Speed of detection, diagnosis, and of course, our ability to unlock new treatments and even vaccines faster are all really enabled by digital health. Not to mention the fundamental macro trends of a growing population, an aging population, and of course, the breakthroughs that we're seeing in genetic coding to allow for better screening, as well as gene modification therapies. Total corporate funding for digital health companies, including VC, debt, and public market financing, reached over $10 billion in 2019. And the top funded categories in that time frame was telemedicine, data analytics, in health applications, and of course, clinical decision support. And when we look at infrastructure areas like mobile wireless, digital health solutions with vital signs monitoring and wearable development for integration to access all of that data off the patient, there is a tremendous amount of design and innovation going on. Precision monitoring development platforms using ADI's latest digital analog converters is a really good example of this. And with alliances like Intel on FPGA platforms, we're enabling the development of these devices with high-speed converter products from analog devices. 2020 is a different year. And we've all spent more time at home, living, working, and seeking what entertainment we could. Our home is our oyster. With technology advances in voice control, artificial intelligence, and the opportunity for intelligent assistance, we now have a viable control center for the connected home. And for sure, tech giants and startup attackers alike have developed a varied array of solutions that we're now bringing into our home environments. Existing devices, however, need to be able to connect with other devices as well as function standalone. And as we look at these fundamentals of the connected home, things must work together. The ability for these devices to connect to central networks on PowerUp, the ability to read temperatures in multiple rooms, the ability to receive energy usage reports, understand the number of programmable periods that we need to have in our home structure for watering to heating to air conditioning, lighting. And the design for ease of integrating external cloud-based services as we bring in more applications, especially on the entertainment front. And Arrow and ADI are working on bringing hardware platforms with IP frameworks delivered right on top. Time of flight solutions from ADI with Arrow algorithms for cutting edge applications such as baby monitoring, security, people monitoring, and even the detection of smoke and other pollutants in the air. That range of capability are all in there for ready-to-go modules that software designers can get working on right away. On the other front, we're really seeing power solutions continue to be important on two fronts, on high voltage and on low power applications. On the high voltage side, according to McKinsey's newest projections, renewables could produce more than half of the world's electricity by 2035, and at much lower prices than the fossil fuel generation alternative has had. And the resulting lowering of these electricity prices, along with the falling cost of electric equipment and more stringent regulation around greenhouse gas emissions, is really boosting the consumption of electricity in sectors such as passenger vehicles, space heating, and of course, standard energy sources for the electronics around us. 
We are all aware of the drive for electrification in automotive. However, the next wave is the industrial sector. Only about 20% of the energy consumed in industry today comes from electricity. And the time has now arrived for industrial companies looking at the landscape and these policies to really embrace how electric and high voltage technologies can be utilized. And while the generation utilities and government regulation are ramping, we know today that 50% of industry's power solutions can be solved by the technologies that exist today. At Arrow, all our technology solution platforms are designed with ADI power solutions, focusing on efficient, low noise, high immunity designs. A platform such as the ICOMOX, low power condition-based monitoring solution, developed by Shear Attack in conjunction with Arrow and ADI, introduces more ways to connect industrial assets with the cloud. And this enables predictive maintenance, extending equipment lifetime and reducing unplanned downtime, thereby cutting the maintenance costs and saving energy for those industrial users. With fully integrated vibration, magnetic field, temperature, and audio sensors, the ICOMOX platform provides early detection of machine failures in condition-based monitoring applications. If you'd like to learn more about the global events and solutions produced by Arrow and Analog Devices, please check out the URL posted right here.